Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Thursday, June 27th. I'll be going over a recap for today. Um, so today I didn't make any trades on my uh, stock count. So I was uh, eyeing CETX here, uh, but there was SSR on, so it's hard to get filled. And the setup, uh, you can see it kind of bounced here and it kind of broke the one minute trend here. Uh, and then ended up uh, retesting that uh, five minute EMA. Um, and then it had a little bounce there on the 9 EMA um, and then uh, eventually retested the 15 minute 9 EMA. Um, but there wasn't much uh, out, much uh, trading out there. Um, but I did uh, eventually uh, played some of my futures here um, up a total of 158 here uh, on future trading uh, on the MNQ. So that's the NASDAQ, uh, I think 100 or so. Um, but let me turn on my uh, entry executions. So okay. So I think okay. So I made some trades here in the morning around six. A few trades. Uh, let me see if I can get it closer. So I'm using the uh, Renko charts. So that's why you see um, kind of these uh, range trends here. Um, so these are the two Renko charts and I have uh, my smaller time frame, which is my main chart, um, mid time frame, and then my large time frame. Um, and then I have an ADX uh, range momentum indicator in the back, uh, which is color coded. Um, so if my larger time frame is bullish, which is the blue and green indicator, I usually try to buy uh, on the uh, dips. So uh, over here it was uh, kind of bearish, so I went ahead and tried to short here. Uh, I eventually uh, covered here, and then I think I bought, I bought again over here. So I think I covered here and then these are my buy orders. Um, so when the indicators turn uh, bullish, I usually try to dip by um, the trend. Um, so what I learned from these uh, future trading is you just go with the trend uh, most of the time. And when the trend changes, you just follow the trend uh, instead of picking the tops and bottoms. Um, so here, I, I bought here at a uh, 76.84 uh, ish and I, I sold into this uh, 76.90 push uh, for that trade. Um, and then I have another buy here. Um, since the indicators are still blue, uh, bullish, bought some here and then sold, uh, bought the dips here and then sold onto here. So uh, pretty much a lot of scalps uh, from what I'm, I'm not sure if that's the correct way, but um, my commissions are only 41 cents per contract. So it isn't like a big killer. But here I think the indicator turned red a bit. So I started shorting the uh, pops and then covering here. Uh, I think I try to add more shorts and then I end up just covering stopping here. And I think that might be great. So I took a few few losses here. So I went ahead and short here. Uh, and I made a mistake because it was still a bullish uh, signal. So, and here you can see it turn uh, bearish. Uh, and this is where I start shorting, shorting again and then covering uh, short and then covering. So all these scalps, uh, from the bearish uh, longer time frame and made a total of 158 today. So hopefully you got something out of that and I might continue to focus uh, more on futures. I feel like it might be a little, little easier to just uh, follow the trend and it's uh, a lot of indicators. So I started using a lot of support resistance. So there's like a lot of lines here uh, red lines, blue lines, or the support. Uh, there's some Fibonacci's which takes the 
the high of the 100 bar and then the low of the 100 bar and then pretty much look for the retracement so this can retrace to like the 30 um 36 percent move here for a little dip buy um but i'm trying to use a lot of indicators and i'm working on an indicator here to uh, uh the extension so the fibonacci extensions uh to uh potential profit takers like 36 percent mark uh 38 percent mark 50 percent um and i'm working on that so you can see the red line here it goes all the way back this pretty far uh, i think it goes all the way back here um so there's a resistance there so there's a uh, long-term uh resistance indicators and then short terms there's a lot of short-term support here but since we're uh, above all these, we have those long-term uh, resistance. So um, I know there's a lot to take in. There's a lot of indicators here, um, but I think if you're trading the indices, there's a lot of algorithm traders and computer uh, learning that are trading these, and they may or may not use the same indicators, but if you're using the same indicators as them, um, you might be following the same trend. So. Hopefully um, you guys kind of enjoy that um, and maybe I'll try to do more videos on the future trading. So as always, uh, thanks for watching and if you like to watch more videos or to see how I'm doing on futures, let me know. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.